So recently I've been really enjoying the Horus Heresy and I managed to resist picking up the Age of Darkness box set just because I didn't need that many marines but I didn't manage to resist picking up at least some of them. So I picked up this set of 10 Horus Heresy marines and decided to paint them up. Now before I even got started I had the dilemma of how I was going to paint them up. Normally I go with ultramarines but that's kind of boring but it's always what I've done in the past. I love ultramarines for whatever reason, I just find them a bit addictive. But then I decided I was going to go for Imperial Fist. So before I even painted any of these marines I 3D printed some of these sort of like terminators just to kind of get an idea of what the colour scheme would look like. And I did my first Imperial Fist and I quite liked it. And the thing I took away from this was I missed painting with blue and I just wanted to do my ultramarines. However, I did this like swampy base and this kind of like mess on the bottom of him and I really liked that and I figured what I was going to do then is take that forward, do some ultramarines, but with that swampy style instead. So I threw aside the yellow, even though I really liked it, and I went with my good old boring ultramarines. Going into this, I knew that I wanted to get that blue armor looking really good, so I was going to use my airbrush for that. So I took another one of those terminators and I hit it with some army painter speed paints. So I primed them all using a normal Xenophil Prime, so I hit them with black and then white from above. And then I went back in with some army painter speed paints. So I started off with High Lord Blue and then I used a highlight of Magic Blue. I then went back in there and mixed some white in with that magic blue and hit them again with some more highlights and I really liked the way it was starting to kind of pop and bring out some of that colour. So I knew that was the colour scheme that I was going to go for to base all of these. Putting aside my 3D printed terminators, I then moved on to the actual bulk of these marines. Now I will say I haven't done anything from Games Workshop for quite some time now. I did pick up an Age of Sigmar box set at the beginning of the year, but the instructions were awful and the sprues were awful. And although the quality is really good, I was having a hell of a time trying to put it together. I'm happy to say these were easier, but they're still not the easiest thing in the world. So again, all of these were primed using that Xenophold Prime, and then I hit them with that same combination of speed paints, and I really liked the way they were starting to look straight away. At this point, I realized I'd made a grievous mistake in the fact that I had this really nice base coat, and if I made any mistakes on it, it'd be really hard to fix that mistake, so I had to kind of go in and just be a little bit more careful with my painting. Putting the airbrush aside, I moved back over to the painting desk and grabbed my first thing, which was the Contrast Paint Black Legion. So this is one of the new contrast paints, and one of the good things about these one of the bad things as well is it's not a contrast paint, but it's a really nice, consistent coat. So I use this to block in things like all of the guns, anywhere that I wanted black to be on these marines. And to be fair, there weren't too many places that I wanted that black to be on there just because I was being relatively lazy. But the guns especially, they got that black coat. And the good thing is, it's a really nice, smooth black finish and you don't have to water it down or anything like that. So it's really good for that. Once that had dried, I then grabbed my metallic and something I've learned recently is mixing a metallic with something like a speed paint medium or a contrast paint medium, it, it makes sense when you think about it. It's just not something I've ever tried before, but it makes that metallic go down so much more smoothly. And I hate painting with metallics, but doing this method makes it so much nicer to do. So once I'd mixed up my metallic, I went back in and I did things like the barrels of the guns, the weapons, kind of did a little bit of edge highlighting around the weapons as well. Things like the shoulder guard as well, which is all like has this weird kind of jewelry studs it's, it's really bizarre um but yeah i did all of that and put the metallics on there also as well things like the wires around the legs i put some metallics on there the chest harness that got some metallics as well and then on this captain as well things like his claw around his head he's got some bits there as well so i just did all the metallic details like that once that was done i kept it lazy and i went back over to my airbrush and grabbed a gloss varnish glossed them all completely and the reason i did that was because i was going to move on to my standard oil wash for the next part now what I did is I mixed up a relatively thick black oil wash after leaving these to dry for about 24 hours and went back in and I used it like a panel liner, although I did go pretty heavy over the whole lot instead, so they did come out looking very, very black. Now the great thing about doing this is because I'd used that gloss varnish underneath, it helps it to run into all of those sort of like recesses and all the parts in the panels and it also protects that base coat as well. So I went back in with a Q-tip dipped it in some spirits and then started to wipe off all the black that was all over them. It took about three going overs for all of them and I left the oil to set for about an hour, an hour and a half before I went back in and cleaned it up. Once you start kind of rubbing off all those highs, it really brings out that detail underneath it and lets you get some shadow in the areas that you want to control. 
And the great thing about doing this is it doesn't stay in the top or anything like that. And it lets you really control where that black wash goes into. Once that was done, I went on to the bit that I've really regretted and that was trying to do the eyes. And my thoughts are with this, I was gonna do my usual thing for eyes where I make them kind of glowing is where I do all the eyes white and then I get plasmatic bolt and mix it 50-50 with speed paint medium and drop it into the eyes. Problem is the very first one I did, I had the camera in front of me and I messed up and I kind of got the bottom of the lens. I tried to clean it up and I just couldn't. And at this point it was kind of a disaster because I just didn't have any blue that would match what I'd done already for that base coat and it was driving me mad. Although you probably couldn't see it too much, I could see it and it was really annoying me. So I had to kind of figure something else out. So I went through and I did the rest of them. So I did the white into all of the eye lenses and then I did my 50-50 mix, popped that in there. And the eyes were looking okay, but obviously I had this bit that was just a mistake. So what I did is I decided I was going to give them a glow so across like the lens and the face and the front panel and stuff like that. So I got this Sistel layer of Save Bright Green and dry brushed it across the front. So like the beaks, the um, I guess around the corners of the eyes and stuff. And it gave them a bit of a glowy look and it covered up the mistake of the white. You can kind of still see it if you look really closely, but the glowy effect, in my opinion, draws the eye away from those mistakes that I've made. So, Quite happy with that so a nice little fix if you make the same mistake that i do obviously steady hands would help to fix that but i had a camera in front of me and i was kind of reaching around it and that was really stupid i probably shouldn't have done that but you know what i've got to give you guys the content so goodbye eyes once that was done i really liked them and i didn't want to go in and do too much else they were looking relatively plain though and that was kind of the issue but because I'd already made that mistake with the eyes, I started to get scared of making more mistakes. And that might sound crazy, but I didn't want to ruin what I'd already done. So I decided they needed something else to balance them. They were just very blue and it had obviously the blacks and the metallics, but they needed something else. So then I added their swamp bases, which is basically this kind of brown mud, but obviously that wasn't going to add much color. So I decided they needed something. They needed some kind of swamp vegetation. And that's when I went off to my 3D printer. I printed off all these awesome like plants and vegetation, these kind of mushrooms, these like alien eggs, which I've just dropped and probably destroyed them. And this, this spore thing, I've no idea. And these are all by one page rules and they're really, really interesting. So I printed them all off, I then primed them all, stuck them onto the bases and then just started throwing in some random colors. And for this, I used a Volupus Pink, Mantis Warrior Green, and Iron Jaws Yellow. So these are the two new contrast paints and then one of the older contrast paints as well. And they're really vibrant. They add some really nice colors in there. And I loved the way they started to look. So things really started to pop. And the good thing is then I had this green to kind of contrast against the blue. We had some like reds and purples, this sort of like pink all over and it just adds something different to them. And I, I really like how it turned out. Once that was done, I called it a day. I rimmed the bases and left it there because I just didn't want to push it too much further. But I actually really like it. The Marines are relatively simple, but I really like the way their armor turned out and I just didn't want to ruin it. And there's enough detail on there for them not to look absolutely awful, but I think they look pretty smart to be honest. And then the fact that they are balanced out with this more intricate base than something I've normally done. I don't normally put things onto the base, but actually it adds a nice pop of color and something to contrast against the Marines that are relatively plain. And it just gives them all this kind of unified bit. And if I can print off even more bits of terrain and stuff like this, I could do like a whole army going through this like muddy swamp and have all these kind of big mushroom spores and everything else. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by that idea. More and more tempted now to buy the Age of Darkness box set and kind of do that as a whole theme. Probably shouldn't, but you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So that's it for my Horus Heresy Marines. I really like them and now I'm really addicted and I want to do more, but I should probably resist. I've got to say one thing that I really liked is just being able to 3D print something just to use as a trial because obviously I picked these up and I didn't want to waste any of the Marines using one of them as a test because I would have done, I'd have painted one of them yellow, then I've had to strip it or I had a wasted Marine. Whereas with this, I could just print something off really quickly and try out a color scheme and see how that fits with the Marines that I bought. And it's just a nice thing about 3D printing, having that flexibility to try a paint scheme out before you actually do it on your main units. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like how these turned out? I probably should have gone with some Imperial Fists, but I always get drawn and addicted to Ultramarines. I don't know, it's just a character flaw of mine. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, I love how these turned out, really happy with them, and now I'm tempted to pick up some more. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you have, hit the like and subscribe button and come along for some more content. Head on over to our Discord channel where we chat all things hobby and painting as well. If you really want to support the channel, head on over to my Patreon and that just helps me to keep producing these videos and putting more content out there.
In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.